So as people know, with ADHD, you hyper-focus on what you find passionate. Mm -hmm. For me, again, it was my patient. So mm -hmm. I would hyper-focus during that patient encounter. Like I could just remember everything and anything that they would tell mm -hmm. me, right? But I also had that time blindness. So I didn't realize I had spent an hour talking to them. To me, it felt like five minutes, right? And so when I would go and give a presentation, you could imagine my brain couldn't decipher what was really important to give the details to the attending as a medical mm -hmm. student or a resident. I was like flowing with information because I was so excited about having talked to this patient. But in their eyes, I was all over the place. You know, in their eyes, they were like, okay, Diana, first you have to give me that, like, what is going on? Then Concise. what is, <laughs> like, there's a specific pattern, right? But then your mind would connect something to something else, and they would be like, wait, wait, you're all over. Did you not, like, talk to this patient? And you're like, I did. But, like, ding, 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 all these other things mm -hmm. would connect. And sometimes you would discover diagnosis that they hadn't even thought about because again your brain would link things that you just intuitively knew to ask and you couldn't explain how you got to that place and therefore it looked like you were just random like oh she just got lucky that she figured that out because three mm -hmm. other medical students talked to that person and nobody could even elicit that type of information she just mm -hmm. got lucky. and so my test ended up being I would do enough to pass the test in the written part of it, but then like my clinical would always be like either all over the place or amazing bedside manner that could compensate for being all over the place. <laughs> and so with time, I learned that the testing stuff, it didn't matter. Like in my mind, I got the motto C still equals MD. If I just get a C, my patient's not gonna care what my grade level was, although mm -hmm. I had never gotten a C in my life. I was always a straight A student. So I had to realize that my C was my A and that me taking a test and me figuring out to spit out information for you for one minute was not gonna dictate the hours or the months or the time that I would have with this person to try to figure out what was going on with them really if I could just listen to them. 